Hey kiddos, welcome back. All right, we were talking about opposites in our first video from this morning. I've got some pictures that look like opposites. These pictures are before and after pictures. And if you think about it, before and after a lot of times can be opposites. Let's take a look at these pictures and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so I see some dishes here in the dishwasher. Do those dishes look clean or dirty to you? They look pretty clean to me. Now look at these dishes. Do these dishes look clean or dirty? They're dirty. I still see the food on them. They haven't been washed yet. So boys and girls, first the dishes were dirty, then they were washed and clean. So this is how the dishes looked before they were washed. This is how the dishes looked after they were washed. Those are opposites, dirty and clean. They're opposites. Well, I've got some more. Hmm, what's happening in this picture? She's getting her hair cut. So does her hair look short or long in this picture? Looks kind of long to me, right? Well, let's look at this picture. Is her hair short or long? It's short, those are opposite. Long, short, they're opposites. So first, the girl's hair was long and she wanted a haircut. Next, she got it cut and this is how it looks. So this is her hair before and then this is her hair after her haircut. They're opposites, before and after. <clears throat> All right, I see some crayons and a piece of paper. Hmm. What do you think we could do with those crayons and that piece of paper? Those are some good ideas. We could draw, we could write, we could make a note for someone. Well, here's a picture of a picture. What do you think somebody did with those crayons and paper? They drew a picture. Boys and girls, this is how the paper looked before. It's plain, blank paper, plain after it's decorated and it's a picture of a little girl and a dog so before it was just plain paper next it was decorated before and after or first and last there we go and it goes together all right thanks for listening i've got a book boys and girls about feelings some of our feelings can also be opposites and some are just feelings that we have and I'm sure boys and girls that not just since we left school but just every day in life a lot of the feelings that are in this book you have had from time to time and it's important to know what feelings we have and what they mean and why we're having them so that we can talk to our grown-ups and our loved ones and our teachers about those feelings and they can share the good feelings with us and if you're having some kind of yicky feelings, they can help you through those and talk with you about it. So this book, look at that silly face. This book is called The Way I Feel. And we're talking about trying new things this week. And when people are trying new things, there are a whole bunch of feelings that go with it. Sometimes we're nervous or scared or we're bashful. Sometimes we're excited to try something new like that roller coaster that we finally are tall enough to ride.